Hey, hey, this is Scott. So I'm going to do a quick um, little video on performing eigenvectors and spectral decomposition in R. So again, this is short. We'll get right into it. So the second line here, I'm, I'm basically creating a matrix and I'm going to call it A and it's going to it's going to have two rows and two columns. So I'm using the matrix function. The number of rows is two um, and by row is true. So it's going to be one, two, two, uh, one, two on the first row and then two and negative two on the second row. So if I do that and in fact, let me just show you what that looks like. All right, there we go. One, two, or the way we used to read them, one, two, the columns, and then um, column two is two and negative two. All right, so now I'm going to get a um, eigen uh, values and vectors, and I'm going to use this eigen function. So I just take it of that matrix, and sure enough, there I have it. And if I want to um, actually show you the eigenvalues, that's two, negative three, right? So I take the, the values and then the vectors are going to be right there um, in the console. Okay, so um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to strip the normalized eigen uh, vectors and create what, what the lambda um, so lambda 1 and then lambda 2 and then I'm gonna show you what those look like the first one um, this is a little e in notation um, oftentimes if you have a multivariate statistical book and negative 3 um, so I'm sorry, that was lambda. This is the E right here. This is the um, uh, portion for spectral decomposition. And this will be E2. And so if I want to see what those look like, e, that's E1. That's my uh, vector. And E2, that's my vector. And so the spectral decomposition is basically lambda 1 times the the inverse, I'm using the, this matrix function to come up with the inverse of that vector times that vector and then lambda 2 times the the matrix um, which is again given the inverse of that vector times itself and then that will provide this spectral decomposition 1, negative 2. So it's as easy as that um, and, and quite honestly, I mean, to, to do larger pieces of it, you just continue. These are just additive in, in nature. You, you just pick, pick it apart and then uh, uh, sum it all together. So that's how you perform spectral decomposition in R, a quick, a quick view. Um, please send me a comment on what you might like to see me do in, in R, um, as well as uh, some Python. So... Uh, maybe leave that in the comment section. Thanks.